The Marmite of fishing tackle, the humble fishing umbrella. You either love them or you hate them. And I think some people have been loving them and hating them for most of their angling career. So I'm not going to wax lyrical about all the new fish umbrellas. We've got quite a few in the range. But what I'm going to do is talk you through how to use one from setting it up to packing it away and all the intricacies in between. Because it's not as straightforward as you think and everybody's got their own opinion on how to set one up and how not to set one up. So here we go. Peg down points. These models come with two peg down points, canvas webbing attached to the back here with a nice big eyelet on so you can use a tent peg and fix that to the ground. There's two of those that sort of nail that back, seal all the drafts and keep it tight to the floor. If you can get them in, use them because this is the anchor. You can't just rely on a pole because, of course, most people use these as windshields and you've got the wind battering against that brolly all day and what you need to do is give it an anchor so that it's pulling against that and pushing against the pole. Real, really important thing to do if you can get them in. On top of peg down points, we've also got the ability to use guide ropes. Now, these are probably one of the oldest things known to man. They've been using them in camping. Uh, and fishing umbrellas for years and years and years. If you can't get your peg down points in because the bank doesn't allow it, these are a perfect thing. But you can also use them in addition as an extra safety measure. Nice and simple to use. You just clip them on and spread out the pegs to give yourself a bigger, wider base. And basically what you're actually doing is anchoring the umbrella. There it is against itself, a little bit like down the peg band points, just nice and adjustable, they slide up, so you can get your tension, keep that nice and tight, and that is working against the pole to doubly secure it, so as I said before, when the wind blows against that, it's pulling against the guy ropes and pushing against the pole, I think they're a great addition to making sure that your umbrella is safe, because nothing worse than fishing and constantly thinking, is my umbrella going to blow away? Spend some time to get the setup right, and I think you'll probably enjoy using an umbrella a lot more. So, unpack an umbrella. You might think, what on earth is he telling me how to unpack an umbrella for? But don't forget, there's a lot of newcomers to this sport, and a lot of people have never actually put a brolly up in the wind or in bad conditions, and they always struggle a little bit. And trust me, I've been in this game a long time, and I know how people struggle with these umbrellas, because I've seen them damage them just putting them up. And once you've slightened them off, the most important thing to tip the umbrella face down. That allows it to unfurl because of course it's been tied up in your bag, you might put it where damp, it's all stuck together. And then face it into the wind before you actually put it up. Because of course, it'll turn inside out, you'll be like Mary Poppins and you don't want that. And then assemble them up and try not to turn your back to the wind. Really, really important. But unfurling it and letting the umbrella relax before you try and push those spokes because, of course, the mechanism inside is pushing your spokes out, which is stretching your cloth. And think about the process of what you're trying to achieve. You're sticking 45, 90 inches of umbrella up in the air like that and trying to stretch it out. So dead important to assemble it in the right way. And just as important as putting an umbrella up is putting it away, because you have to do that to get it on. Keep it facing the wind, obviously. We've talked about that earlier. Drop the umbrella down. And then... People said to me, I can never wrap it up the way it came out. Somebody showed me this a long, long time ago. Spike to the bottom, brawler in the upright position. Don't use this hand, use the left hand here, if you're right under the opposite, obviously. And turn the umbrella while holding the flap with the ties on it. And just keep turning the umbrella, and it'll just tighten and tighten and tighten. And basically, it's wrapping it for you. And there you go. It's nice and tight. Tie them off with the little tie strings and that will slide back into the bag that it comes in and down into your old hole. Not only does that keep your brolly in good condition, it's a bit more compact and you don't tear it, rubbing it in outside of the zips when you put it back in your old hole. Sounds daft I know, but there is a way to do it to keep it nice and neat. 
and that's the one. So our brollies are fitted with various types of uh, mechanisms in, inside to tilt the angle. You can use it in a traditional mushroom style, I think is the nickname for that. So it's straight up and down, stick it into a brolly clamp and have it over the top of you. That's great when there's some light rain, uh, summertime, and there's not a lot of wind. Ultimately, you probably want it to be a bit more secure. We've obviously spoke about pegging it down and pinning it back and guy ropes and all the rest of it. When you're doing that, you're going to need some kind of angle tilt. This model in particular has uh, two types of uh, tilt mechanism. One is built into the boss here and you'll see me just tilting that back and that gives you a sort of 35 degree angle on that so that you can still stick the pole upright and it'll just bring the canopy up at the front allow you to see where you're going and fish. But when we talk about fishing, I think this is why people fall out with umbrellas, because there's not enough room to cast. You probably have to step up and step out of the way of your umbrella. We've also got, in this particular model, uh, this is a split pole. And the reason for that is so that you've actually got a shorter pole, and that will screw into the back of the umbrella, which I think this is actually called a new brolly tilt. Nothing to do with us. I think that name's been around for donkey's years um, and that screws right into the back of there and you'll probably see if I tilt it on an angle to the camera there what that allows is the umbrella spike is vertical and the canopy if I can just hang on to it in the wind tips right back which means you can fish you can cast you can strike and play your fish so decide before you assemble your umbrella what you're trying to actually do with it and choose one of those options and that will aid you to get your position right and trust me with umbrellas position is everything if you fish off a seat box like i do then a fantastic product to go along with your umbrella and make things a little bit easy is a double brolly clamp especially on these sort of commercial fisheries where there's a hard stand it's a beautiful peg uh, nice and clean and nice and stable but of course it means you do struggle to get your umbrella spike in so i've just got a brolly clamp on the back of my seat box leg i've put the pole into the back position that we spoke about earlier and I'll just nip that up and then what I try and do is find a position and I'll just tilt it until I find it and then that means that I can cast and I can strike and I can play my fish but what I'll do is I'll go around the back get the guy rope set them in so that it just keeps it nice and stable because what you actually want the reason I'm using it today and you know what I'm going to explain to you is that there were a real cold breeze when we got here and if you're uncomfortable you don't fish well and therefore just taking that breeze off keep your hands warm be able to, you concentrate more you catch more fish so get it set get the guy ropes in fix it in position and you can fish all day so the old marmite product the fishing umbrella you will either love it or you it if you do love it you probably know everything i've already said to you if you don't love it then some of these little videos might just help you to get a little bit more comfort when you are fishing if you can put your umbrella up and fish in a little bit more comfort you're probably going to catch a few more fish so last but not least, if it's been raining all day, try and dry your umbrella out before you put it away. If you can't, take it home, put it up in your garage or your shed and just dry it out because if you look after it, it'll probably look after you. I'll leave that with you.